everybody and welcome back to my channel. I did it. If you watched my last video, I talked about how there was a good chance that the next time you saw me, my hair would be different. And here we are. I am copper. It is fall. I am so pleased. Um, I got my hair done this past week uh, by Daniel Mora, one of my favorite people ever. If you're in LA, specifically the Pasadena area, but even if you're not in the Pasadena area, because I'm certainly not, go, you need to go see Daniel Mora at Onyx on Madison Salon. He absolutely slays. I love him so much. I love it personally. I know it's a little bit of a, a change up, but um, I'm here for it. You know, we're all about the fall vibes. And speaking of fall vibes, I thought that maybe today, hold on, it's, we're talking about fall favorites, but it's also like 100 degrees in LA. So I need to go get my fan. I'll be right back. I'm so hot. We had a couple of nice days in LA where it was giving like true fall weather. And all of a sudden there's like a giant heat wave now and it's freaking hot. And so we have the fan. So anyway, uh, hopefully you can't really hear that. I'll just place her right here. That feels so nice. Okay. So anyway, today I thought I would share with you my fall favorites. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a few stories about my current favorites for fall this year. Now, some of these are old, some of these are new, but I thought I would just sit down and kind of go through them in detail on my YouTube with you. So without further ado, if you guys want to see me talk about all of my favorites, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. I love doing a fall favorites video. I typically do one every year almost. I know I did one last year. Um, and I can't believe it's already been a year. It's wild. I need to talk about this thing right here. This is probably my favorite fall favorite out of all of these. Um, and I love these all, but this is the one thing that I would say if you are looking for a new deodorant or even if you're not, the native honey and saguaro, I think that's how you pronounce it, deodorant is everything. Now I know I am a native stan. I love the, um, matcha and sweet cream one. That is like chef's kiss. I didn't think anything could get better than that. And I'm not saying it's necessarily better, but this is delightful. It's everything and more. Honestly, I feel like native makes their sense so that there are unisex. So something leading to, um, feminine or to masculine. Again, you like what you like, but there's something so wonderful about this. So fresh, so it's like sweet enough, but it's fresh enough and it's the perfect fall scent. A body wash that I really love that I've had since last year, I may have talked about it before, but this is also perfect for the fall. It's by Kopari. It's a coconut latte body wash with coffee and macadamia nut oil. Now this has like slight like exfoliating beads in it. If you can see in the cap, they're like little, I think they're like the coffee grinds or whatever. So it is a little bit of exfoliation. The caffeine is intended to kind of like stimulate um your senses as well as just i don't know like exploit your skin leave it a little bit more smooth this is like the perfect like quintessential fall scent like it's a little latte it's a little coffee it's a little warm it's really really delightful and um it lathers pretty nicely i wouldn't say this has like the best lather ever but kopari is a great body brand i mean obviously like they're known for their coconut products i feel like i've tried so many of their coconut varieties like the deodorant um etc and this is awesome i love this if you can find it i think i got this at like tj maxx or my cousin got it for me i don't know if it's still like widely sold but if you can find it at like a tj maxx get it because not only is it discounted but the formula is really really good so i have two hand soaps that i want to talk about this one i've spoken about for a few years now this is probably like my favorite fresh fall um scent this is chris morning air and i will say Chris Morning Air is one of those Bath & Body Works scents that for some reason does not always manifest itself the same across like every type of product. So for example, I love it in the hand soap. I don't like it in like a scent portable or like a candle really even because those lean very cologne-y, not giving what it needs to give. However, in the hand soap, it's so fresh, it's lovely, it's perfect, it literally is very reminiscent of a crisp fall morning. You get that apple, you get that breeze. Like it's just beautiful. Um, the notes in this are fresh pine, juniper, and juicy pear. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess like it gives apple, but I guess apple's not technically a note. It's probably the pear that I'm smelling, but there's something about an apple or a pear scent that makes it really, really fresh, really nice, just really relaxing and calm. And this is not giving cologne whatsoever. It's just literally giving like a fresh morning, like a fresh fall morning without fresh fall morning, like the, the cologne candle, which is not 
Okay. I have this in one of my bathrooms and she's super cute. I love the foaming soaps, as you know. So this is great. And then one of my new discoveries from this year is vanilla matcha latte. I believe this is a new scent. And man, I am obsessed. I can see why they kind of market this as a fall scent because it is very much giving like earthy, woodsy a little bit. And when I first saw it online, because I, did I blind buy this? No, I smelled it in person um, after I saw it online and I was like, okay, no, I have to have this. Um, the notes of this are fresh matcha, vanilla syrup, and a splash of milk. And I was a little bit nervous because I was like, how is this going to give in like a hand soap form, like a matcha latte? I don't know, but it's perfect. It's honestly perfect. It literally smells exactly like a vanilla matcha latte. They nailed it with this one and it's not weird. It doesn't translate like funky, like on the hands, like as a soap. It's refreshing, but it's a little bit sweet. It's just delightful and I love it so much. You have to try it if you are a vanilla matcha latte, like lover, like drinker, or even if you're not, like even if you just want to like try this hand soap because it's new and it's intriguing, do it. And if you're on the fence, get over the fence because any reservation you had, I probably had. And trust me, it's not, it's not giving any of that. It's really, really good. Okay, so let's let's switch gears really, really quickly to really random favorite. Um, this is the pumpkin spice cake Nespresso pod. And this is a fall favorite for obvious reasons. It's very much giving pumpkin spice. Now I will say this is probably like my favorite, like um 7.77 7 fluid ounce, which is like a regular, like standard coffee cup size. Um, I don't love this ice because I find that with the bigger like coffee mug size pods from espresso, like when you ice it down, it gets very like watery and like weird and it dilutes it, which is supposed to obviously with the ice, but in like a really not great way. So I personally will stick with like ice espresso. Like my favorite pods from espresso are like Bianca Leggero, the um, double espresso Chiara or the double espresso Dolce. Um, and the Ice Leisure, like any of those double espresso pods are really, really good, as well as like the blonde Starbucks espresso pod. That one is really good. But in terms of like a fall coffee, like, I mean, come on, it's pumpkin spice cake. It's not sweet. You do get a lot of that spice, which if you don't like, um, you're not going to like this because it's not very much giving sweet pumpkin. It's giving like spicy, not spicy pumpkin, but like cinnamon clove spice pumpkin, which is obviously what you would expect from a pumpkin spice cake. Um, again, it's not sweet. So if you want to give like PSL or like that lot, like that sweet latte vibe, you're definitely gonna have to add to it, which for me, I don't make sweet coffee at home. I mean, I love it at like Starbucks or like a coffee shop. But for me, I personally really, really love it. And it's something that I drink and I get every single fall season because it's just a necessity for me. Should we talk about uh, fragrances? So this one I've had for three years now and I feel like um, obviously, I bought like the full size thing. This is the Bath and Body Works White Pumpkin and Chai Fine Fragrance Mist. I am not like a huge fine fragrance mist stand anymore. I mean, I, I feel like obviously I don't really go through it enough to be a stand, and I like to alternate through my perfumes and fragrances over there. But this one is really, really good. It just smells exactly like it smells exactly like fall. It's perfect. It's not too sweet it's like the quintessential fall pumpkin scent it's not giving super artificial but it's not giving like complex like layered notes of perfume you know obviously that the notes in this that it doesn't even say but it's really just like you know white pumpkin in china i believe i don't know if they have this in any other kind of like candle or whatnot but if it's just in a fragrance mist i mean that's fine for me because this is like the perfect sweet-ish fall scent it's not too young I think anybody could rock this and it's not giving like moonlight path or warm vanilla sugar where someone would be like, oh, that's a bath and body works mist. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is just really delightful and it's like a nice pumpkin -y mist. It's like perfect for fall. Okay. I've spoken about these for sure um, because I really don't buy perfume all that often because um, first of all, perfume is expensive. And second of all, like, you don't, I personally don't go through it often. I, I try to be very cognizant of how much I'm spraying. Um, but this one is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This is like my all time favorite nighttime perfume. It's sweet. It's coffee. It's sexy. It's like the perfect night out or like first date perfume. Um, it's just perfect. It's like the perfect nighttime scent for pretty much any time of year. I honestly wear this like any time of year. But there's something so reminiscent about the fall in this perfume because of that like sweeter, coffee, sexy 
No, that's not super sickly sweet. Like there is a little bit of like floral mixed in, a little bit of orange, but it's just the perfect balance of everything. It's amazing. And then YSL Libre is one where you have to be careful not to spray too much. Otherwise it's a little bit intense. It's a little bit cray cray. Um, and this lasts a super long time. So does this like really, really long time. Both of these last really long. Like obviously they're expensive high end perfumes, but it's not giving like, you know, you spray it once and then it's gone. This one is very much more orange and lavender. It's not sweet like this. It's not a gourmand scent at all. This is more of like a, not like a fresh, I would say. This is more of like a, a floral, musky, orangey scent. I don't know how to explain it. Perfume is so hard to explain. Like it's so nuanced, um, but this smells just like boss woman. Like you wear this to a meeting. Ironically, this isn't my like office perfume. This is also just like a fall winter perfume for me. I pretty much exclusively wear this in the fall and winter. It just gives like head bitch in charge. That's what this perfume is giving. Um, it's so, so good. Um, so depending on what kind of mood you're in, like I love these both and would recommend them for the fall time. Okay, um, speaking of scents, let's talk about two candles that I wanna give a shout out to. This one is my favorite fall candle. I just, hands down, this is a warm apple pie. Top five favorite candles period. This is baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, flaky homemade crust. Um, this is just like happiness in a jar. And I know they come out with this during the summer as well for, um, uh, for the July. Why can't I remember that holiday? For the July. But to me, like it's such a quintessential, like fall scent. Um, this is kind of gross because like, there's like a bug that's like trapped in there because whenever I like light candles, like sometimes it just like flies in and you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, the throw on this is really, really good. I will say though, I feel like normally the throw is a 10 out of 10. This one's only kind of like an eight out of 10. I don't know what happened there, Bath and Body Works, but I'm gonna need you to step your game back up because this is the best candle that you have. Um, especially now since you discontinued Barry Waffle Coat. I take this back. This is my favorite Bath and Body Works candle. Now that they don't have freaking Barry Waffle Coat anymore. What's that about? Why did you guys discontinue the best candle that you make? I don't understand. Um, but anyway, warm apple pie, it's really delightful. Now we have a new guy. This is from Trader Joe's. This is my first time I think buying a Trader Joe's candle. Um, oh, wait, this is weird. Why does it look like that? I don't know. The wax is not giving like smooth, whatever, whatever, who cares? Trader Joe's candles actually have a pretty good throw. Like my cousin, I remember one time she bought like the tomato leaf candle and that was a three wick candle and that was potent. I was like shook. I feel like sometimes I have this perception that single wick candles don't have as nice of a throw as um, like three week candles do, but this is actually pretty good. This is vanilla pumpkin, by the way. It's $4 at Trader Joe's and I keep this in my master bathroom, like whenever I'm taking baths to um, light and it just fills my bathroom perfectly. It smells really, really nice. It's like that perfect combination of vanilla pumpkin. Now I love this vanilla pumpkin because I have also tried the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from Bath and Body Works, which you would think I'd be a fan of, but oddly enough, like I'm not. Like I don't love that candle. It's definitely not like a repurchase for me. This I would definitely buy over and over again, um, just because it's you know small, simple, gets a job done, and more than anything, I really like the scent. Okay, last but not least, let's move on to makeup products. So I have two eyeshadow palettes. Again, neither of these are new, and there's so many eyeshadow palettes I could talk about, but I really wanted to just give like a special shout out to these two. Obviously the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette for obvious reasons. Too Faced makes the best seasonal makeup products ever. Look at this palette, it's so cute. I have some of this on my eyes right now. I have Pumpkin Spice and Ginger Spice like all over my lid and crease. Um, really, really good. I love how these blend out. I'll swatch like a few of these mattes for you. They're so creamy, so pigmented. That was just one swipe. Like you can see how well they blend out. And then also too, they don't really smell like pumpkin. They're just more so giving like, I don't know, like nice, like Too Faced vanilla scent. Really, really good. And then this is my all time favorite, like fall palette. I just can't do one of these videos without talking about this. And I've had this for like almost five years. Oh my gosh, I've had this since 2018. Don't tell anybody. I still use it and I'm fine. But use it at your own risk. This is the Violet Boss Pro Hashtag Palette. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but I've done so many videos with this palette. It's amazing. I love all the purples and the oranges. Like I have throwback all over my lid right now. It's perfect. They're so good. Like purples and oranges are the best 
shades for like brown eyes and so i feel like this is like my perfect palette because i love doing like a copper smoky eye i love doing like a purple smoky eye so um this basically gives me everything that i need and it's perfect for fall i mean it's perfect for any kind of look year round but it's especially amazing for fall speaking of eye products i really want to give a shout out quickly to this essence long lasting eye pencil in the shade hot chocolate now the essence like pencil in the shade black love which is a black liner i use on my tight line every single day but I love this liner because it's retractable. I have it on my tight line right now, but it's so creamy. Like the lightest pressure, you get such good impact and it's really, really waterline resistant, really, really good. I love Essence products in general, but this liner is everything. Actually on my eyes right now, I only have brown liner on right now. I have like a brown liquid liner, a little bit of brown shadow on my lower lash line, and then this is my tight line. I have no black really on my eyes except for like my lashes and then a little bit in the corner just to like blend my lash with my lash line my real lash line but anyway this is so good i love the essence eye pencils i really really recommend you try them they're only a couple bucks and you really can't go wrong and the longevity is amazing i love this merit blush in the shade fox i mean merit blushes are like my go-to like no makeup makeup blushes and this cream blush in fox is so amazing i love the shade beverly hills that one is like an og for me but i feel like this is just like where it's, i don't know why i smell it this is just where it's at i love fox for obvious reasons like it's i love foxes in general they're my favorite animal and my dog is like a fox you know obviously so um any hey, this is what it's giving she's super cute really nice really cute sheen um and they just blend out so perfectly so if you ever just want to add like a little bit of flush just dab some of this on your cheeks blend it out and it's beautiful i stand this formula it's so creamy it works on like all skin types i have oily skin and i love it um and yeah it's just a really nice cute color it's like a little bit taupey it's like the perfect fall neutral because it's not too pink it's not too much of anything um and it's just really really flattering on uh, my skin speaking of merit i'm wearing this lipstick right now in addition to this real her lipstick which is like more of like a true red but i wanted to like do a little bit of a mixer roux because i have a little bit more of a dramatic eye look going on but this is a merit lipstick in the shade tiger and i keep talking about this lipstick because i keep wearing it um it is the perfect like burnt reddish brown also perfect for fall but my perfect like anytime shade to be honest like this is like my favorite all year round color but for the fall i feel like this is just the perfect shade to wear um during the day to just throw in your purse or throw on your lips like it's perfect i love it truly and then last but not least i want to talk about the Too faced melted matte lipsticks i'm pretty sure i spoke about these last year but they're so freaking good these are the liquefied matte longwear lipsticks in the shade gingerbread girl and gingerbread man oh my god these are beautiful um they're like the perfect shade of like a deeper like reddish burgundy and then like an orangish red so this is your like daytime fall shade and then your nighttime fall shade which obviously like we love um but anywho these are amazing i love the Too faced melted matte liquid lipsticks i have them in a bunch of different shades oh i also want to mention cinnamon bun because this is like my favorite like nude um, like, and it's a great fall nude too, because it's a little bit deeper and it smells like cinnamon. These smell like pumpkin. Uh, I just love them so much. Like, again, for all your fall needs or like seasonal makeup, like Too Faced is where it's at because the packaging is so cute, but the formulas are actually really, really good too. I wear this to work all the time. It's like my go-to shade pretty much for like a deeper-ish nude. Um, and the lasting power is really, really good. It's matte but it doesn't dry out my lips, which I love. All right, everybody, and that was it for this roundup of fall favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you've been loving in the fall. And yeah, I love all these products so much. Like looking around makes me really happy because I just, I love, I love fall, it's my favorite season. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, please. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Mwah.